family it's your girl chef Evelyn here and I want to let you know that I've started a series on my Facebook Twitter and uh, sometimes on my Instagram page called kitchen conversations and it's just a way for us to dialogue about food and entertaining and stuff like that it's nothing really formal but every couple of days I'm gonna post out uh, send out a picture or a phrase excuse me or a question and uh, get you guys to join in and converse with me online so we can kind of keep up with one another outside of the videos. But um, what I'm going to do is at the end of every week, I'm going to come and I'm going to answer the questions about myself. So this week I sent out, or last week and this week since it was the beginning, I sent out three questions. And you have to forgive me. I think I have a like sinus or something. So if I sound a little clogged up, then you know what it is. But so um three or four questions this week um and the first one was would you rather have a wine cellar wood fire oven or outdoor kitchen and so uh, a couple people chimed in for me honestly mm, i mean it's a toss-up between the outdoor kitchen and the wood fire oven simply because outdoor kitchen is great but i know that i can do a lot of stuff that i do in the kitchen inside but that wood fire oven though I mean you had you just there's just certain things you cannot do unless you have a wood fire oven to give I mean to get to that level of heat and just that flavor so it's a toss-up for me I'm leaning towards the wood fire oven so uh, let me know which one you would choose a wood fire oven a wine cellar or an outdoor kitchen second question what is your most unusual piece of cooking equipment unusual see for me unusual is relative okay because I use a lot of things um I mean I have a mortar and pestle no I don't know that's a hard one I don't have like anything exotic you know what I mean like I don't have like a tangine or or something like that um I have a lot of stoneware you know or cast iron but that's not unusual I don't know. I'm gonna think about that one. If you guys have something unusual that you cook with or something like that, let me know. Okay. And then the other question was, do you consult Yelp before trying a new restaurant? Okay, it depends. If I am with certain friends of mine, we always look at the reviews before we go. For me though, if I've seen it around and um it's been like reviewed or it's been like in the local magazine or it's in the top 100 restaurants in Dallas or something like that. I may glance over the reviews, but sometimes I actually really look at a restaurant's menu to kind of determine if that's where I want to go. I don't always consult Yelp, but I do kind of look out there and see what other people say. Because you have to remember, people's taste IQ is all over the map. Some people will really give it a bad review if they got poor service. Some people will get a bad review if they have poor taste. Some people will give a bad review if they just don't like that type of food or they don't like the atmosphere. And so you have to kind of know what your own criteria is. And I would tell you, don't always just look at the bad reviews. Look at the good reviews if you are going to consult Yelp. And um, last but not least, um, which foods do you dislike? Ugh. Okay, what you guys may not know about me is I'm a super picky eater to be a chef. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff I don't like. Now, with that being said, it doesn't mean that I can't cook it. It just means that um, it's not. I'm not a fan of it. And one of those bigger food groups, and I, I do the quotations, is condiments. I feel like mayonnaise is so overused. I think it's gross. Ketchup, mustard, sour cream. People do too much with it. I mean, I'm from Kansas City. There's a certain type of barbecue sauce that I like. Okay, we're going to get into that later. Uh, I can tell if you cheated and made your barbecue sauce with ketchup. I mean, it doesn't matter how many seasonings you put in it, how much molasses or honey or maple syrup or whatever you're using and garlic powder and all that. I can tell if you use ketchup as your base. So, I don't cook with ketchup. You will not find a bottle when you come to my house. I don't like to dip anything with it. I don't eat anything that's with it. I don't like it on my hamburgers. Even as a child, no, I didn't grow out of it. I do occasionally use mayonnaise, but as a binder. Crab cakes, um, mainly. <laughs> and I'm not a big seafood eater. I do like fish, but I don't like crustaceans. I don't like shrimp. I don't like lobster. I don't like crab. 
Um, yeah, just not my thing. I'll cook it for you and make it delicious, okay? I will make it right, but I'm not a huge fan of it. So, guys, I'm going to leave the questions either on the screen or in the description box, but feel free to chime in. Let me know you know your answer to these questions and we're going to be doing this weekly so this will be fun this is a way for us to get to know each other outside of me just like jamming you with recipes so anyway um use hashtag kitchen conversations and hashtag chef evelyn so i can find your answers if you're not following me on facebook or in instagram or twitter i'm at chef evelyn you know the little thing that's usually in one of these corners on the screen oh my gosh and um I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to rate, leave your comments, subscribe, and share the videos. If you like, you know, something a little bit different where we can converse and it's not me talking just at you, um, share the love and invite people to join the family. Also, don't forget to go to my website, ChefEvelyn.com, and join the Inside Dish because I send out promotions and events and things that are going on or recipes that I've done on my website through that, okay? And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.